Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Weight classes, Rob. Different weight classes uh, with these two programs and these two teams right now. I I'd like to say even like with Bryce Hopkins that it would have been a different result, but it wouldn't have been a different result. Uh, this UConn team has just got so many weapons. They play so well together. Um, they don't really have any any major weaknesses. Like even, again, you look at them and you're like, okay, Cam Spencer and Caravan aren't great athletes, but they make up for it defensively. And, and again, you know how I feel about Castle. Man, I, I think like – I just think watch out. Like I think he's going to have one of those games in the tournament where he just goes for like 22. You know, he can just do everything. Like that's the thing about Castle right now is like, he can make threes, and that was the one thing that he couldn't do going into the year. But he's got great court vision. He can pass. He can get to the basket. He can guard. Again, I'll say it over and over and over. Like, I'm not letting that dude get out of the top five in the NBA draft this year. I'm not. Doug? Top five. Wow. Top five. Top five. Five. Yes. I, 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 I love him. I love the team. Uh, and I think – one of the big differences is Samson Johnson's emergence since the Klingon injury gives them a big guy, gives them a different look off the bench, just a different feel. He's got, he's really athletic, very quick for a guy, but he also doesn't need the ball. It's all on rolls and whatever. Um, don't love their scoring off the bench. Like again, I'm finding a mole on a supermodel. So that's about it, right? You got like Jara can come off the bench and make a shot. But no, I like this team, and they went in and and like a Saturday night in Providence, like that's a wild scene. And they <laughs> yeah, went in and banquet. Yeah, they just went in yeah. and shut them the f up. That's awesome. Think of how drunk those kids were tonight. Going, <laughs> oh my like, god! It's their season. This is their season on the line tonight. They woke up and they got after it from the moment they got up and and went out to the you know the bars or. or parties on campus, whatever it was. And they went over and they were, they were so shit faced and, uh, and ready for this. And it looked good for about five minutes. Wow. Nice great. cut. They were celebrating for five minutes, Rob. And then UConn was just like Hurley and picked up. And then team, what happened? And that was it. And, and then what it. happened? That was it. Danny, yeah. Danny was just like, it's over. It's over. So, I, uh, so, okay. I, here's I my question really about the big East. That's my question. Are, are we really like we have St. John's and Nova and Seton Hall in the tournament? Is that going to happen? Probably. Probably. I don't but think why? so. I think you I think you get two of them. I think you get two of them. St. John's uh, plays Seton that, Hall first game first game in the garden, right? That's their first game? Yeah. That's I right. believe that's the 4-5, yeah. Five. I, yeah. Loser that one's going to be if, – if St. John – I think you, loser that one's going to be in a rough spot. I mean, St. Hall has going for them is they beat UConn and Marquette and they just beat Nova, right? But outside yeah. of that, like, oh, their non-conference is shit. And then, mm -hmm. you know, like, they just out. got – They're not going to keep Rick out. They're going to – they'll throw him in the first four, but they'll they'll put him in there. You watch. They why know you, he'll Why draw. do you think that matters? I don't think they'll that draw. shit matters at all. It does matter. Of course it No, matters. they don't. They don't care about draws. Yeah. If they care about draws, Syracuse would be in the first field every single time. They don't care about draws. St. John's Pitino. doesn't draw anybody. Are you kidding me? St. John's doesn't rate. Rick, Rick Pitino. Mm, whatever, modestly. Listen, the Patinos against each other. They're both bubble teams in New Mexico. We'll get to them. They lost, whatever. And by the way, yes, see back up 10 now. Um, Put them against each other in the first four. No, no. I, don't think I Listen, I get it. It's a great story. But why do they belong in the field? The bottom of the league sucks. Okay. Okay. So why it is, sucks? Why Colorado, They've all packed up did, and gone home. We'll, we'll take Colorado over them, Doug. You happy? We'll take Iowa over them. You happy? Like, come on. Who belongs? No, but again, who, who, who belongs? Who? Okay. So yeah, who, are we, we going to do New Mexico? We do. Well, we do New Mexico and Nevada. And um, Nevada's in. Give me, uh, give me Dre. Way. Give me, give me the loser of the Missouri Valley title game. I'll take one of them over the totally the bubble team. Um, but I will I'll, totally I'll just, because I'll, I'll because look, the like old that. argument would the old argument would be like, hey, they they won in the non conference and they didn't win they didn't win shit in the non conference. 
Like we were talking about like, man, this is kind of like a three team league in the non-conference. And guess what? Those three teams are better than everybody else. And they've been better. And Creighton was the only one that was shaky. And guess what? Creighton's the one that's lost. Huh? Here's, 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 here's the best. I'll give you Virginia, Doug. Hey, Goodman, here's the best case scenario for the Big East. If you want to be able to get six teams in, this is what's going to have to happen, right? Seton Hall has 13 wins in Big East play. They beat UConn. They beat Marquette. They have all of these, like, big uh, statement wins in the conference. I think between the 13 wins in league play, if they, no matter what, I think that they're probably the safest out of that entire group, right? If you look at what we have right now in our most recent bracket, I believe that they are a 10 seed. So they have a little bit of room to work with, right? So I think if they lose to St. John's, that will get St. John's in the tournament. That will get Seton Hall. And Seton Hall, to me, is probably already in even with a loss. Um, yeah. You need Providence to go out and beat Creighton, I think. Providence plays Georgetown in the first round. Ed Cooley, again, has a chance to do the funniest thing ever. Um, but the Providence beats Georgetown, beat Creighton, then you get Providence in. Villanova, I, look, they already have 14 losses, man. They can beat DePaul in the first round and then beat Marquette in the second round. And I still think if they end up losing in the semifinals, you're going to have a tough argument well, to make. Marquette, in a team that has if they beat losses. Marquette with Kolek, they're Marquette. in. They're in if they beat. But Kolek's not going to play. Is Kolek going to play? Who knows? With him, he'll want I think that's thing. Have- Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field 68 content.